Listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, of course, you know that coming to America is coming. And Akon had called out Eddie Murphy saying that Eddie Murphy should be hiring real deal African actors for the movie. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea. And here's what Eddie Murphy had to tell TMZ when they asked him about it. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you that there's one funny African that Michael Blackson. Okay, that's a good one. That's really good. You going to get Blackson a role? Yeah. All right. Okay, well, Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson. Well, well, let's prove Michael Blackson is really from Africa first. Okay. <laughs> he this... said that would be life changing. Everyone in the world is going to watch that movie. Who said that? Michael Blackson. It's, it's rumors that Michael really not from uh, Africa now. Okay, so you can't be taking roles from African. Uh, Michael Blackson's from Africa. Stop <laughs> you it, man. Can't be taking roles from African actors if you're not really African. He's from Africa. All right, now let's talk about a brand new show that is coming to YouTube, hosted by Charlemagne. Huh? The Hollywood Reporter oh. is launching a. You don't know about I it? I forgot. You're right. Drop on the clues month with Hollywood Reporter. It's the emerging <laughs> Hollywood video series, and here is the trailer. The new Hollywood is being built by renegades, the outliers, the so called misfits. Comedy reminds you of who you're trying to be, who you maybe once were. The most important thing you have as a writer, creator, director is a point of view. I'm not just going to play like the nagging, annoying girlfriend. I want a role that's actually challenging and nuanced. Telling fresh stories and bringing to life characters who until now have been confined to the margins. We only saw a certain type of lawyer on TV. We only saw a certain type of nurse on TV. It's not a black movie. It's a movie. There are black people who are the characters in it. So we do have certain privileges. Why aren't we taking advantages? Why aren't we working from a place of power? You know what I'm saying? Has whitewashing finally stopped? I would never say it stopped. Every time you think it stopped, they do it again. These original talents are disrupting the status quo to redefine the industry for all of us. What's happening behind the camera? What's happening in front of the camera? What's happening in the boardrooms that control the world of cameras? When you hear black people say, white folks, what they're saying is corporation. That's it. It's yeah. not even that they're saying, literally, you white people. And I think that we see a lot of organized groups giving jobs to who they want to give jobs to. But that's why it's really important that there are Asian people behind the scenes, behind the camera, and also Asian people who are executives, who are greenlighting these movies. And I think it'd be really cool for more people like Mike Scher to create roles for us or to have some South Asian creators mm -hmm. to create authentic roles for us. And I think we just need more of that rather than the same old stereotypes. This is Emerging Hollywood. Yes, first episode drops tomorrow with a real African, Trevor Noah. Oh, okay. maybe he could be in Coming to America. Yeah, he could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's South Africa born and bred, but salute to the Hollywood Reporter. Right, so give us some more information. Like how many um, shows is it? Who else is going to be on there? Uh, so Dasha did, Palenko. I, yeah, I, saw... I did like five episodes. Dasha Palenko, Killer, Killer Mike, Mike, Trevor Noah. Um, I forgot, but it's, it's, it starts tomorrow. He on, said, I forgot on, this guy. It starts tomorrow on The Hollywood You're a great Reporter. Sales Go person. to The Hollywood Reporter on YouTube. Tell us all about it. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> it, starts, on, it starts tomorrow. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> then we're going to get some spoilers here. All right. Empire is coming back, but apparently Jesse Smollett is not signed on to come back yet. They said by mutual agreement, the studio has negotiated an extension to Jesse Smollett's option for season six. But at the time, there are no plans for the character of Jamal to return to Empire. So they've extended his contract, but there's no plans for him to be on the show. Why would one do that? Why are they going to kill him? I don't know. Yeah, kill them all. So they gonna pay him, but they not gonna put him back on. I think on? what they're trying to do is waiting to see what's gonna happen before they make a real decision. Decision, okay. So that's what it feels like is happening. If they should put him back or not, they're still un <clears throat> uncertain. Maybe they'll kill him in the final season. I'm just saying. All right, now the shy has been renewed for season three, also okay. by Showtime. You know that's my show. Dope. So I congratulations. I gotta uh, catch up. I haven't caught up the last couple of episodes. To them, it's only been what. Three four, or four? Three episodes yep. or four, I forget. But, um, yeah, so it's a lot going on, a lot of activity. So a lot of highs, a lot of lows for that show. Uh, Shout to Lena Way. Yes, amazing. Now, John Singleton apparently did have a will, and his mom is in possession of that will. He has a worth of $35 million. That's what his estate is worth. Mm -hmm. So if he had died without a will then apparently his mother wouldn't get anything. But she does have that will, and it will soon be filed. We don't know what's in it yet, but he does also have seven children. And there's just been a lot of family issues, I guess, going on behind the scenes with the business mm -hmm. of all of this. All right, well, I'm I mean... I'm glad he had a will. Yeah, no, that's great. That makes things a lot less messy. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have a will? I, uh, do I? I do... And I don't. I do when it comes to certain things, but certain things I have to be refreshed in the will. 
the okay. majority of stuff, everything goes to my wife regardless. Yeah, so everything, they, they, yeah, not, yeah, everything's in go to, everything's with my wife. <laughs> now. Go to my wife yeah, I mean, <laughs> doesn't change. And nothing will change. She, she, she got all access to the money of Every, hers. Everything. Like, yeah. Is it so is it not necessary for you to do one? You should still do one regardless, just in case you owe people money if there's liens or if there's somebody trying to sue you, you should do a will regardless. But everything goes to my wife anyway. So All right, well I'm Angela Yee and that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Michelle. Do you have a will? Yeah. No, I, that's what I was just thinking. That's why I was asking you guys if you have one, because I don't have a will. I have life, I have life insurance, mm -hmm. and I have you know where everything's going. But with even that, with that, it's like you know, well, who gets all that? When, if you well, oh, I definitely got life insurance policy. Yeah, but, but if you do a will, just keeps it? everything very simple. Very simple, so and it knows where to go there's to. No there's issues, no problems, no questions. No people yep. arguing, fighting, because there's a will. Life insurance policy go to your wife too. Everything yeah. goes no, to my wife. It's whoever yeah. you leave it to. But so you, you leave it to. Yeah, it doesn't automatically do that. You have to put who the beneficiary will be. Well, I was, well, mine is my wife. I'm sure Charlemagne's is his wife. Well, Charlemagne, did you leave me anything? Leave you something. All right. I mean, some people might div divide it up between their kids. If you have other family members, like brothers, sisters, mm -hmm. parents, you might want to leave them something. Leave you something. Now, you right. abuse me every morning. I just want to know if you if you left me something. I'll check your underwear. There might be a little something in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You go too what far, bro. What does that mean? You that go too far. do that to you, man. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. She took it way too far. Oh, you go now. too far, bro. <laughs> you go too far, man. Well, stop throwing it off the backboard. I won't do it. <laughs> okay? This guy is crazy. Right. I'm you definitely going to human resources. I'm in the game plan, all right? I'm so uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable, too.